I'm here as someone who's already gone through an extradition process uh, of an extradition request to the USA uh, that took five five year battle uh, that we were ultimately successful in. I'm here to support Julian against being extradited to um, frankly the regime where he would be made an example of for reporting on uh, US war crimes and for publishing other things that have upset powerful people um, and while there may be a pretense that it's um, it's a hacking conspiracy charge I think we all know that it's just an excuse to render him up to the US where he will face a vindictive prosecution and have no, no chance of a fair trial. We, we would not even be in this position today had the UK recognised the political asylum of Julian Assange given by Ecuador and afforded him safe passage out of the embassy. So um, I consider the UK government or elements in the UK government as having been complicit in um, Julian's persecution for these last seven years, uh, initially um, relating to the Swedish uh, European arrest warrant and now as we see uh, the US has wanted to extradite him all along and that, that was what Julian always claimed, that he didn't want to go to Sweden because he was uh, afraid of being sent to the USA. So now we're in a position where um, the UK government is facilitating this uh, uh, extradition process. Um, the, Crown Prosecution Service lawyers are representing the USA and um, I, I think it's shameful really that our, um, a country such as ours that professes to value a free press would be um, collaborating in an attempt to um, make an example of the wrong kind of free press and to exert a chilling effect on press freedoms worldwide. Uh, which would be the effect of um, Julian being in prison in the US. Uh, everyone would have to think twice about facilitating whistleblowing, everyone would have to think twice about reporting on war crimes, and um, it, would be, it would be a disgrace if we allowed this to happen.